Hey guys, um, I'm gonna be doing a video on my Kubota L3940. Um, it's a good tractor. Um, I haven't, I, it's pretty new, it's new. Um, I've not had it long, had about a, how long have I had it? <clears throat> had it probably about, um, Hmm. I've had it about a week. Um, it's a great tractor. Um, yeah, so, um, and the tractors are great. Um, pretty nice. Um, I have another tractor. I have another tractor. It's at my grandma's farm. I've got a John Deere tractor and a Kubota tractor. I have a John Deere. I think this is a compact. I'm not real sure, but let's hope it's compact because if it's not, I have to send it back, but... I got it from the uh, Capota dealer. Ugh. Tear this stuff off. If I can get it off. Um. Um. Here's the. I'm trying to. Things chipping. I'm trying to take it off. Booey. Okay. All you have here is your standard. Here's your standard. What you have is your hydrostatic response. Hydrostatic mode right there. I have no idea what it is. It's GS. Don't know what it is, but mm, I don't know. Um, then you have your standard turn signal. If it'll turn, it'll turn. There we go. And you have your left and you have your right <coughs> turn. You have your left and then right and you have your standard light control what you have here is your off low high um you have your um you have your um hazards i don't know if you can see them in a the dash but here you have your hazard lights And then you have your display mode, display mode, and you have your travel speed. And what you have here is your standard, um, <clears throat> um, how much gas do you want to put into the, um, gas tank and engine. And then what you have here is the all, um, to change the, um, to change the, um, Tilt steering, you have standard tilt steering, tilt steering, which you have your, press this piece down, and then push up. Um, on this one, it automatically, just like, I'm going to put it down. On this one, it automatically, just like when you push it up, it'll go up itself. Um, then you have your, and you have your, you, then you have your dash, you have your, glow plug i think right, that's right yeah that's glow plugs then you have something else i have no idea what that does you have your like highest gas and lowest gas you put into the engine then you have your blinkers there's your blinker lights right here and you have your rpms of the um rpms of pto um then you have your standard then you have your brake I, th I don't know if i've showed this already but i'm just gonna go ahead again you have your brakes and then your um one foot brake i think that's a foot brake um then you have your standard um <clears throat> if you had a bucket this is what you would use um then you have your pto switch on off then you have i have no idea what this lever does but if you can tell me in the comments i have no idea then you have your i have no idea what this lever is on the foot right here it's your auto throttle advance so what you do is i think it like auto like when you go over terrain or something it like when you push down the 
pedal, it like gives a little, the, the tractor more power to use it. Use the tractor more power. Um, yeah. Um, then you have your, I think I've showed this, you have your response, hydrostatic response. I keep mine about here, so, because I don't like it, like, when I, when I go on the gas pedal, let off real fast, I don't like it to just do this. I like it to just have a slow stop to it. Then you have your standard cruise control, and then you have, yeah, you have your standard cruise control. Um, what you do on, on my farm, what I do is, I ha this is my farm around here. This is my farm around here. This is the building back there. My farm around here. And then, um, then you have your um, low. I can't pull, get fully back, but it's enough for nut neutral. Then you have your medium bar right here. Then you have your high. And then there's two neutrals. There's one in the middle of medium and high, and there's one in the middle of low and medium. So yeah. And you have, I think this is part brake locked, unlocked, differential, I think. Um I don't know what this is. Something out there is but I figured it out. Um, so, uh, then if you wanted to use the auto throttle advance, what you do is you just, uh, if you wanted to use it, you just push that baby on, turn that baby on right there. You just push it down. And then you. Um, what I do when I'm cranking up my mine is, what I do is, I'm getting another one, but with a cab on it so um when i get one i'll have a cab on it. um then you have your dashing gas tanks right here let me push this up you gotta get out gas tanks right there <coughs> gas tanks right there <coughs> then you have your um no, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, so that's my tractor. Um, if you have any more questions about, if you have any questions about the tractor, just um, comment. If you have any questions, just comment down, and then I'll see what I can do. If I, if you have any questions, I'll see what I can do. I don't know if I have all the questions, but I'll see what I can do. Um, here we're buying a better tractor. Um, go with the 3940 or a higher tractor. These are, I think this is a compact tractor, so it's not the best in class, but it's, this is like the standard version. Standard version. This thing's messing up. Alright, well, standard version. Then you have seat belts. Where, where is the seatbelt thing? Peace. Can't find it. Um, seatbelt. Uh, I did not show you the hazards. Let me show you them. That's your hazard lights. The other one on the other side doesn't work. So that's the hazard light. So. This is a really nice tractor. Um, I'll have the key maybe tomorrow. I'll probably have the key tomorrow. Um, I got the tractor. They just having to buy me a key for the tractor. So, um, well, um, try and get questions on for you if you are looking to buy a tractor. So, like, if you're gonna buy a tractor, go for a Kubota John Deere. I'm getting a John Deere. 
Because John Deere's are really nice tractors, and Kubota's are nice tractors. Never get a Toro. Never in your life get a Toro. Toros are the worst tractors. Um, I had a Toro, Toro Briggs and Stratton engine. Worked for two months. Gone. Took it to the dump and recycled it. So, um... Um, I think if you're gonna, it's a hydrostatic, um, hydrostatic, um, if you're, and I forgot to tell you one thing here, this is one of the nice pedals, you have a truck, this is my dad's tractor, I'm getting, I'm getting, I mostly use this tractor for like doing farm work, but I'm the one who mostly uses this tractor, my dad just bought it for me, um, but I'm getting John Deere, he's gonna keep this one and then we're using that, and then we have your treadle pedal, it's the treadle pedal I think. Um, I'm not much of a fan of the treadle pedal. Um, to me, I like what you do is you push it up, and then you can you can do this just like push it up and then push that. But what I do is I just push up, push down, push up, push down, and then mostly on my John Deere, it's got a twin touch pedal. This pedal right here is your like forward and reverse pedal. And this on the on the Kubota. What did the Kubota first? Um, you have your push and you have your forward and reverse. For forward and reverse. Um, so what? If you're buying a tractor, go with the Kubota or John Deere. Um, John Deere's and Kubota's are, I think, rivals, but you gotta know that they're real good tractors, so, they're both really good tractors, so, um, my next video, probably gonna be doing a, my excavator and bobcat, um, I'll do the bobcat first, but, um, I did the excavator another day, so, um, in about five minutes, I'm gonna go over there and do the bobcat, so, mm. um, Alright guys, I'll see you later. Um subscribe and do that. Um if you're looking to buy a tractor, you always use a Kubota. Um use the best in class Kubota and John Deere. So I'll see y'all later. So alright bye.